Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So one of the questions that I get asked pretty often, more often than I expect, probably you expect, is what certain rackets are worth. To be specific, what these wooden rackets behind me are worth. Um, that's actually a really good question. Uh, I'll actually answer that today. Okay, so a lot of people actually, sometimes they actually bring in rackets and the people who kind of are a little bit more, let's say down to earth, they say, hey, what are these things worth? You know, I, I found them in the garage. I figured they're worth, you know, maybe a couple bucks. And, you know, if they're worth more than great, if not, you know, I'll just donate it to Goodwill or something like that. You know, those guys are a little more understanding about rackets and, you know, especially wood. And then you have your other people who basically think they have a gold mine on their hands. And they're like, oh man, this racket's from the 60s or the 70s or the 50s. And when I tell them that, yeah, it's firewood, they uh, basically get kind of pissed off and mad at me. But it's like what I say, the truth hurts. Why am I talking about this? Well, let me be more specific with you. I got a man by the name of Coach Jim Ritter. Uh, U.S. PTA certified professional from Austin, Texas, just wrote me and said, a fellow from my courts in Round Rock, Texas, asked me to check in his deceased wife's racket that she had when she was a little girl. It appears to me to be from 1930s to 1940 vintage. Can you address your audience about what may be the value on a tennis racket such as this one? Uh, thank you, Coach Jim Ritter. Um, it looks like it's a standard. It, it's called standard and it's champion. So on one side of that wooden racket says champion. On the other side, it says standard. So, some quick facts before I get going on uh, the worth of these rackets. Most of us know that they kind of all kind of look like that, right? This is what we know as our parents' rackets, our grandparents' rackets, this kind of a eggy teardrop shape, right? With those strings that are kind of two-tone victor strings that's kind of what a modern day tennis racket looked like in the let's say early 80s to mid 80s okay just some fast facts about um, wooden rackets if you think quality control is bad today imagine trying quality control on a wooden racket you got different trees, you got different um, thicknesses of trees, densities and aging of the wood and all that stuff. You know, the, the weights of these things are kind of all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last time, the last time a wooden racket was used at Wimbledon was actually 1987. The last time a wooden racket won a Grand Slam was in 1983, and that was by Yannick Noah. So here's the thing though about wooden rackets. There are a select few that are valuable. The Hazel Racket is one of the most sought after wooden rackets um, in history. There was only about 1,200 of those made as you can see, it's a unique design, you know, with the sides coming down to brace the racket with a thin kind of a, a mono shaft. It's, uh, it's extremely rare 
it, they sell it at the auction houses like Christie's and they go for upwards of about a thousand to twelve hundred in kind of fair condition like those in mint condition can I mean easily fetch three to ten thousand dollars the great thing about wooden rackets is that you know it's kind of one of those bygone eras of when America made rackets you know as you can see by this cover Wilson was this Wilson wooden racket was made in the USA I found a couple of those wooden rackets that were actually made here in San Francisco on 18th Street so can you imagine you know tennis rackets being made like a couple miles away from where I am um, unfortunately that's no longer the case so from what I can see from this racket it does look like vintage from the 1930s to 40s I want you to take a look at this racket so you can tell that this piece right here on a wooden racket you can tell that this means that it's from the 30s 20s maybe into the 40s max because this is a telltale sign that it's from that era plus the shape is a little more kind of oval almost like a Yonex okay now some of the older rackets too like you can tell this is a little on the older side too it's probably 40s and 50s so this one right here is kind of just like what coach Jim is asking for as you can see as you can see by the shape of that racket by the throat of that racket right the names are already gone but that definitely could have been a champion from that era. All right, so I've showed you rackets from that era that we actually have. Uh, this is my buddy, uh, Peter Allen's collection behind me. He's actually in a retirement community now, but he's still collecting racket. And uh, this wall is fortunate enough to inherit his collection so he would be the man in the know um, so I said Peter what's this worth what do you think <laughs> his first thing was you know it's probably worth about five dollars in the state that it's in um, he says he buys them for anywhere from you know two dollars to to you know, ten dollars, uh, depending on the condition they're in and where they're selling them from. He he actually confirmed it uh, with Coach Ritter that it is from the '30s, and wood was definitely better quality back then. But the short answer is, unfortunately, that racket you have there. I mean, I would say twenty-five dollars would be on the average of what it's worth. Um, so I know you guys were hoping that it would be worth a little bit more, but unfortunately nobody or not enough people collect them these days. All right. Thank you, Coach Jim Ritter, for sending over that question. Um, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your